So if you stream directly from your Xbox, you know that you're limited to only streaming to Twitch. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can stream to both Twitch and YouTube directly on your Xbox without the need of a capture card and completely for free. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is on our Xbox, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start your stream on Twitch. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the, the Twitch app. You're gonna to come up top to the broadcast section and you wanna pay attention to these two sections here where it says bit rate and stream resolution. Now for your bit rate, I recommend you select automatic so that way it can test your internet speed and give you the highest bit rate that your internet can afford, right? Then you're going to want to come to where it says stream resolution and you're going to select 1080p. Once you've done that, you're going to come here to the left hand side where it says your stream title and your game. And then you're going to go ahead and select start streaming. This is going to go ahead and push your stream over to Twitch and you're going to be live. So now what we want to do is you're going to want to go to a laptop or a computer somewhere where you have access to a web browser and internet to be able to get this next step set up. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the description of this video and you're gonna wanna come to a website called evmux.com. This is the website that we're gonna utilize to be able to go ahead and stream over to YouTube completely for free. So once you get to this website, you're gonna come here to the right hand side and you're gonna select sign up. You're gonna go ahead and create a free account. Then once you create your account, you're gonna be brought to a dashboard. Now, right out of the gate, you're gonna be prompted with something like this since you've never set anything up inside of evmux. You're gonna select single broadcast and then here for the title, this is not the title for your stream. This is just for your own personal viewing. Uh, so you can go ahead and just type in stream one or put in your name or the name of your stream, anything of that sort, uh, but that's just for you. And then you wanna select go to studio. This is gonna go ahead and bring you here to EVMUX live stream editor. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is here on the top right hand side, you're gonna to wanna to select broadcast channels. Once you do that, you're gonna see an option here for YouTube. You're gonna select that and it's gonna go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and get logged in to your YouTube channel. If you've never created a YouTube channel before, just go ahead and create one before this. And if you've never live streamed to YouTube before, please keep in mind that once you go ahead and set this up, YouTube is gonna to have to verify you and it's gonna take 24 hours for them to give you access to live streaming so don't be alarmed you just had to wait 24 hours and then you'll be able to stream to youtube with no problems so once you've gone ahead and connected your youtube channel the next thing you want to do here on the left hand side is you want to select add scene you're going to select empty scene and you're going to select create now that we have that scene created what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a new tab and you're going to want to go to twitch.com again all the links that i mentioned are going to be in the description of this video and you're going to go to go to your live stream right so let's say i'm on twitch this is my live stream i now have it open ready to go now what we want to do is you want to come back to the evmux editor and here on the bottom you're going to see an option that says share screen right you're going to come to the top you're going to select chrome tab and then you're going to go ahead and select your twitch you're going to select, make sure that you have share tab audio so that way the audio comes out on youtube as well and then you'll simply select share this is gonna bring you over to the screen that you wanted to share, which is gonna be your Twitch. Now you wanna make sure you select full screen. This is gonna make it full screen here for you. And now when we go back to EVMUX, you're gonna see here at the bottom that there's your stream. We're gonna select add to pro scenes. And then once you do that, you're gonna come here to this little bullseye icon and you're gonna go ahead and select stretch to canvas. You're gonna see here, this is gonna go ahead and make your stream full screen for you to be able to showcase that on YouTube, right? So once you have that there, the next thing you're gonna see here is that you're going to see that it says powered by EVBox. Now, unfortunately, on the free plan, you cannot remove that watermark. If you do want to remove it, then you are going to need to go ahead and upgrade to an, uh, a higher plan, which is like $19 or $25 a month. And you can do that if you want to. But here's a way for you to be able to go ahead and earn money when you're live streaming utilizing EVMUX. So if anybody asks you, how do you, how are you getting your stream on YouTube or how are you, what are you utilizing to stream? If you let them know that you're using EVMUX, you'll get a commission if somebody signs up for a paid plan so how do you join the evmux affiliate program so you can go ahead into the description of this video there's a link for you to go ahead and create an account for evmux affiliate and then what happens is anytime that you recommend somebody to evmux you give them your link and then once they sign up for a paid plan you'll get a commission a great way for you to start earning money as a streamer so now what i want to show you here is that you're also able to go ahead and add a camera. So let's say you don't have a camera on your Twitch stream, but you want a camera for your YouTube because you have a webcam on your laptop or you have a webcam that you want to go ahead and add. You can come here to this little gear icon and select your camera and then it'll pop up here in the bottom and you can select add to pro scene. You'll see here that my camera is now gonna appear, allowing me to be able to size it and bring it a little bit smaller and put it there for me, right? You also can go ahead and come here to add layers and start 
are adding overlays that you can showcase on YouTube. And if you're looking for overlays, you can go to streamdesigns.com. Again, I'll put a link in the description where you're able to get overlay packages, countdown timers, signature positions, everything you need to be able to make your live stream look professional, right? So if you don't want your camera there, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and remove it. And now what I want to show you is that now you can go ahead and select go live. And when you go live, this is going to push it over to YouTube. So you'll be live on YouTube. Now here's, here's the beautiful part about it. You can come here to where it says comments. And anytime somebody's commenting on your YouTube chat, you're going to be able to see it pop up here. So if you want, if somebody says, Hey, I love your content and you want to give them some show time, you simply can click the comment and it's going to bring it up on screen for everyone to be able to see on YouTube, right? Then you also have the option here where it says banners, where you can have little scrolling tickers on the bottom that say, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or let them know the days that you stream or talked about the things that you're doing today. Hey, I'm playing with followers. You're able to go ahead and have that there and set it up as a banner. Now, if you're going to want to control all of these things, you are going to want to keep your laptop nearby or your browser open. Uh, but that's pretty much everything that you need to be able to go ahead and go live stream. Now you'll be streaming to YouTube and to Twitch at the same time without a capture card completely for free. Now, if you want to see a video where I walk you step by step on adding overlays on your Xbox so that way your stream looks professional, go ahead and click this video right here on the screen where I show you how to do just that. I'll see you guys in the next video.